Good morning from North Tenerife Airport. It's still dark out, but not to worry. We'll be treated to a nice sunrise in a few moments. Today's flight is a quick short hop adventure to a little island called El Hierro. Today we're going to be flying the Vinter Canarias ATR-72. They fly the ATRs mostly all around the Canary Islands, connecting all the different islands. I decided that it would be interesting to go to the furthest flung island, the last land before you hit South America basically. So I'm going to go there, rent a car, cruise around for the day and then fly back on the ATR tonight. Get ready for some more adventures. Señoras y señores pasajeros, como medida de prevención y en cumplimiento de los requisitos de seguridad sanitaria, por favor ocupen los asientos de mascarilla. Rogamos avise a la tripulación de cabina para que ésta les suministre una bolsa de residuos y poder retirar los desperdicios inmediatamente, con el fin de mantener el avión en un estado higiénico adecuado para su seguridad y la it's hard to tell because of the condensation on the windows, but this was the fastest I've ever taxied in an airplane. Is that an ATR thing, or were the pilots just speed racers? Funny in a way, since the ATR is a relatively slow airplane in flight. Mike was not liking the particular buzz of the ATR on takeoff. It's not quite as bad in real life, though it's a little buzzy and loud for sure. It's much quieter during cruise. This is a very short hop and even the sluggish ATR makes it in no time. It's about 105 miles or 170 kilometers from Tenerife Norte to El Hierro, usually about a half hour in the air. The plane only climbs to about 10,000 feet on a given day, so you get some lovely views as well. The sun just rising behind us on this leg only added to the beauty. Moments later, it was time to descend. And that's all, just to say one more time, thank you very much for choosing our fly. Enjoy it and I hope you see you again more soon. Until later, I'll see you.
productos aterrizaremos en el aeropuerto de destino. Por favor, continúen haciendo uso del cinturón de seguridad y mantengan su mesa pegada. I got asked to stop filming a couple of times here. That didn't seem to be an issue elsewhere in the Canary Islands. Anyone know why they would be extra sensitive out here? El Hierro stands in stark contrast to the bigger Canary Islands with almost no tourism infrastructure and relatively few visitors. It's a stunning place and the lack of people after Tenerife was actually really nice. If you do make it out this way, I would highly recommend getting out to El Hierro or one of the other smaller islands, even if just for a day trip. Thanks to these flights, it's very easy to do. cruising around El Hierro, this island, the furthest west of all the Canary Islands. Went around a bit, had some lunch, walked in some lava fields, and uh, had a swim in some volcanic pools, and now it's time to get on the ATR back to Tenerife Norte, where I'm gonna position myself for a few days waiting for the next flight adventure. Should be one showing up just behind me. In fact, I think I can hear it now. I sat in the back of the plane on the return leg, and I'd say the front is much better on the ATR. I like seeing the props, and I didn't find it to be any quieter down the back, as opposed to the Dash 8, for example, where it's clearly quieter behind the wing. Full throttle, brakes on, here we go.
Unfortunately, the windows weren't too clean on this one, so the views aren't as clear. Still, it was a very pleasant flight, quick and easy. Thanks as always for coming along. In Tenerife for Flight Radar 24, I'm Gabriel Lee.